Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. I wanted to share with y'all what I found yesterday. I was walking through and looking at these different booths and this man's always putting, you know, things in his booth and it's like a dollar, two dollars. Y'all, I walked past this man's booth yesterday and oh my goodness, he had this canner for two dollars. So, of course, I snatched this thing up so quick, threw it in my buggy, and yeah, I bought it for $2. And the only thing that's missing is the weight, but this is the original box that it came in. Um, let me open it up. Y'all, it is, it seems to be in great shape, and this is the lid. Of course, I looked inside to see if it might have had the um, weight in here, and I was hoping it was in there, but it's not, so I could just probably use the one from my other canner and uh, pull the one later on. So here's your rubber seal and all of this. I mean, look at that. Perfect. I still can't believe this thing was only $2, y'all. And, of course, you know, stuff like this. Anytime you see these at yard sales, garage sales, thrift stores, and it's uh, especially $2, grab it up. I would grab this up at $2 even if it didn't have the lid and the parts to it because, I mean, you could still use it for other, you know, uses or, you know, find a lid and the other parts somewhere else. And, um... I taught my daughters, you know, having canners and your jars, that's like, that's like insurance, you know, when you buy these things and you put these up and, um, have them, you know, around, you can always be able to preserve your foods. There it goes, got the lid on. Um, I will definitely be using this. Y'all, I don't even think that you can even have too many pressure canners around and iron skillets. I told my daughters, you know, if anything ever happens to me, you know, be sure to grab up my cast iron, my jars, and my my pressure canners. Do not let your daddy sell those in a yard sale for a few bucks so um, they know better to, you know, they better grab up these things. You know, you don't want to be putting people's things like this in a yard sale for $2. Well, I guess you could because then I'll come and buy them. This was such a great find yesterday, and I'm, I'm, I still can't believe that, you know, the guy only had $2 on this. And actually, when I had it in a buggy, a lady walked by, an older lady, and she was like, they only had that $2? dollars i like, yeah, $2. And I kept my eye on this thing in the buggy because somebody had tried to snatch it up out of my buggy. But these things are definitely insurance to have around your house. If crap ever hits the fan, you want to still be able to you know, preserve your foods, and, um, if you got to quickly, you know, preserve your meats in your freezer, you know, you have a way to just put them all in your jars and, 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 uh, buy some time and not have all your foods go bad, and so, um, you may need a good bit of these around the house, you know, you, you, you're on a, you're on a time limit of when this stuff's thawing out and how fast you can get it cooked up, so, and uh, this will save you a lot of time by having a, a few of these around the house. And so anytime I see these, at, you know, like I said, at yard sales and garage uh, sales and thrift stores, you know, and if they're at a good price, I will definitely buy this because my canner I bought off Amazon, um, I gave $300, I think it was, uh, and when my husband asked me how much I gave for it, and I told him, and he was like, what? And I was like, yeah, that was what I wanted. You know, I've wanted one for a really long time, and I just broke broke down and spent that cash, and and when I, that's whenever I see these things for two bucks, y'all. This is the first one I've actually, I think the least, this is the least I've gave for one of these. The last one I've gave, I think it was like um, $5 for one at a yard sale a few years ago and this one is the cheapest I have gave got you know a pressure canner for is two dollars y'all so the cheapest would be for free 
So definitely, if people give these things to you free, take it. The one thing, um, if you're not going to use, if you're leaving these, you know, for family members when you pass away and you're not teaching them how to use them, um, a good thing is to have instruction manuals. This one does not have an instruction manual in it, and so I will, I will probably try to look up one, you know, online to put it in with it whenever I put it in the building and um, store it up because I have enough, the one that I said I gave five ten dollars for it actually has an instruction manual with it um, and it's a little older than this one and um, but the newest one that I gave the three hundred dollars for is the one that I used and I got it like I think it was like five years ago uh, on Amazon so uh, yeah and I hope y'all have a great day and I definitely wanted to share this with y'all that um, you can find these things at two dollars and uh, just keep your eyes open and grab them up when you can and y'all have a great day please like subscribe bye y'all